now next to the next come to the next step uh, next step that means okay I'm taking from different things from the market or collecting data from the field after that the next very important work that is arranging our data or arranging all these ingredients because at a time I don't need everything okay I have to put uh, all these things in different stages in different states so suppose vegetables or fish and meat spices all these things are needed for my dish now I have to arrange all these things like vegetables fast I can't keep all these things together no so I need to separate I need to separate vegetables I need to separate uh, fish and meat I need to separate uh, all those small packets of spices now after separating I need to keep it properly even within the vegetables if I keep uh, papaya on top of the tomatoes or if I keep uh, like cauliflower or cabbage on the lettuce finger then just think about it after some times what will happen I will just get some smashed and rotten things so it will be a mess so I can't keep heavy uh, things on top of the soft or small things so I need to arrange it properly according to the weight or texture of the material right now in separate boxes I need to keep different fishes or meats or all these things the spices I also need to arrange it properly so that at the time of uh, cooking very easily I can find out all these things so when a researcher collect uh, information or data from the field generally researcher collect many things because our informants those who are giving us information they are not always aware or skilled enough so if you ask any question to them he will uh, answer so and with that answer there will be many more extra things so it is the duty of the researcher to extract the actual data important information and separate it from the irrelevant things and then arrange it properly some data are numerical some are descriptive some are interview based some are survey based so these things we will study in detail afterwards but i think you have heard all these terms at least census survey interview these are very common terms so at least we have a common understanding so from that what uh, I can tell you so separation and uh, arrangement of data that is also very much important in case of research work otherwise everything uh, you can't analyze anything no if we mixed up all these things together so after uh, this classification this in uh, term of research methodology these are known as classification so classification coding and tabulation these are the term when we do these things that is arrangement of data because you must have seen that uh, in different articles of the journal 
there are some charts and tables and this charts and tables generally in percentage in numeric uh, information is displayed so some data we have in number and we keep it in form of table so that is tabulation so all these things we need to do before we reach into any conclusion now the next stage that is the actual cooking you no know, when i am putting my vessel on the gas stove and cooking it so in case of research the not cooking but writing so with the help of all this uh, data now researcher starts writing his or her paper so that is the most important uh, step now this uh, at that time you need to step by step you need to add water salt spices so here also you need to add all your own observation your own analysis all this Uh, important things what we will discuss one by one later and then your dish is ready your almost your paper or your write up is ready then two things sir finally important suppose if i am cooking and i have invited some guests but nobody turned up so obviously i will feel bad no that is because it's my cooking it's not only for myself my preparation is not only for myself i want to serve it to others so that is the pleasure so when others are testing it they are giving positive comments that is the achievement or that is the good feel so research work a piece of good research work it is not only for researchers own satisfaction unless and until it is uh, added in the world of academy school of knowledge otherwise this is it has no such meaning and presentation that is the final thing suppose you did really a hard work you have picked all best things from the market and uh, your preparation time it was also perfectly fine and step wise you did everything perfectly and your cooking uh, spices steps color fragrance everything is beautiful now your guests are waiting but finally you were serving it on a cracked plate you don't have proper things to prepare i mean present to serve so that will actually destroy the 80% of the effort if it is if your plate is dirty if your plate is cracked something like that similarly your data collection your selection of topic is excellent your data collection that is also very uh, very logical analysis of data that is also super very uh, 
new things, new points you have given. Your write-up is also very fluent and full of academic excellence. But your presentation is clumsy. It is quite lengthy and full of jargons. Readers, uh, those who are not very much expert in subject, they are not feeling like to read this paper. So in that case, that is not very, I mean, that is not the example of a good research. A research paper will be lucid and must be interesting for all as well as uh, there will be a fine balance of descriptive that means qualitative and quantitative information some graphs charts tables as well as some text so and if it is handwritten, then it must be very uh, neat and clean presentation in case of computerized alignment, word size, all these things must be very good. So that and for other subjects also what I used to say that is the presentation is important. So at a glance if I uh, feel like not to read, then of course the whole effort, the amount of time I have spent for this work, I will not get back that positive feedback. So anyway, this is actually the introduction and I think today I have not given any very uh, deep or uh, very heavy discussion on any particular topic but you can uh, gather some idea and this is just to uh, give you some interesting comparison uh, I would like to start like this okay thank you